Hi everyone, this is Marvin. Marvin Bloom, how are you? I just woke up, I'm in my pajamas. Um, well, you know, I am gay now, as many of you know. I was ex-gay, and now I'm gay. And, um, you know, I'm a good gay. So I'm not going to go to gay clubs or bathhouses or places like that. But I was feeling lonely for gay companies, so um, about a month and a half ago, I went to a gay book club. Well, they called it a queer book club. Don't get me started. Anyway, we're sitting, I don't even remember the book, but we got off on a tangent, and this one guy says, well, you know, you're not really a gay man until you have anal intercourse and you really like it, although he used the F word, which I thought was disgusting. And I strongly disagreed. I said, listen, you know who you are on the inside. It's not what you do to make who you are. You know what I mean? And, and, and then I told him, you know, how I was ex-gay. And he said, oh, well, then if you were ex-gay, well, now that you're re-gay, you got to do it all over again. I was like, listen, I did it once, well, many times, <laughs> went before when I was first gay. But, you know, whatever. I enjoyed it. It's enough. He says, no, it's not enough. I said, it's enough. He says, it's not enough. We went back and forth. Anyway, it was eating at me, so... Some, you know, I went shopping one day and, you know, we got groceries and, you know, and household supplies. And then I stopped by the local gay emporium. And I went in and I bought a marital aid, a prosthetic, a dildo, okay, by the name of Samson. And I, you know, brought all everything home, put it on the kitchen table, put the perishable was away first, um, and then the paper supplies and all that. And the last thing standing was... Samson, and I thought, I don't know, I'm not ready for this. So I just left Samson on the kitchen table, and every morning and every dinner I had, I had a meal with him, you know, just kind of bonding. Well, last week, I had a rough day at work, ugh, and I came home, and I had a glass of wine, and all of a sudden, I was like, hey, big boy, let's go. So I brought Samson into the bedroom, and I, you know, followed the instructions, I used lube, all that stuff, um, you know, but then I was about to do it, and I thought, wait a second, what are you doing? And I quick reached over and grabbed a condom and put it on, because I don't know where he's been. And so, then, for the next 20 minutes, I attempted to make it happen. But I don't know, maybe it's like, you, you know, your ears, if you get them pierced, if you don't have earrings in, the hole closes up. Because I don't, I don't know, whatever I did, it didn't work. I couldn't get Samson. No. I, I don't know, my eyes were bigger than my anus. I don't know what it was. So anyway, maybe I'm not really gay. I know, I think I know who I am. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to rush out and, like, have sex before I'm married because I'm a Christian. So, anyway, thanks so much for listening.